guys, my name is Maria Rivera and this is Talking Nats. Last episode we covered a lot of ground and hopefully this one will be the same. So yeah, let's just let's just jump it into it. First of all, today we got a game. The Nationals versus the Phillies, and that game is delayed due to heavy rain. So I don't know. I don't think we will have a game today. So maybe that will be tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Maybe they will postpone it. I don't know. So I'll keep you posted on my social media and my Instagram, my Twitter, and Facebook. So just be on touch. So again, let's start off with the last week's games. On June 10 was the White Sox, but that was a game during our last podcast. And I'm going to be really honest, that game really surprised me. Because Kurosaki, with a sack fly, brings the first round for the Nationals via Howie Kendrick in the top second. Then Adam Heaton brings the second round via Trey Turner 2-0 the Nationals lead. And on the top third, Trey throws a home run to the left center, and the Nats win 3-0 on the top f- on, on the top fifth. Yeah, the Nats are winning on the top fifth, 3-0. Then on the bottom six, Lodi Garcia throws a home run, and that will be 3-1, but the Nats are still on top. And then on the top seven, Trey doubles to the left field, brings a four round for the Nationals via Robles, and that will be 4-1. Top 8, Dossier doubles to the left field, bring the 5th round for the National via Howie Kendrick, then Robles singles to the center, bring the 6th round for the Nationals via Dossier. Top 9, Soto singles to the right field, brings the 7th round for the Nationals via Eaton, and then Howie singles to the right field, and brings the 8th round via Rendon, Anthony fucking Rendon. Then Kurt Suzuki throws a grand slam. Just hear that. Kurt Suzuki, a catcher. Like catchers, I am also speaking in person, um, personal opinion because I was a catcher too. Catchers, we tend to be um, incredibly, incredibly busy during the game, like paying attention to every little detail there is. So for seeing that Kurt Suzuki still has the concentration and the mind to just hit the ball when it's supposed to be done and throw a grand slam and just do that for me is amazing so Kurt Suzuki you were the MVP in this game so the Nets won that game 12 to 1 and our player of the game was Trey Turner with three hits, two RBIs, and he is one grateful little fella. But I'm going to be honest. I am going to also add Kurt Suzuki to that of the player of the game because he did win us the game with the final Grand Slam. So, Kurt Suzuki, you're good. June 11, 2019, top first, Trey walks, Ethan strikes out, and home run to the center field by Anthony Rendon, the all-star player. Then Soto walks, a line out by Howie, fly out to the center field by Dossier, and the Nationals lead 2-0 over the White Sox. First, but, for, um, bottom first, a uh, grand slam by Wellington Castillo, that will be two for the White Sox. And then on the bottom four, home run by Eloy Martinez. That will be two five but for the White Sox again. Bottom six, the White Sox make, make two more runs. And that will be seven two. And the White Sox still on top. Top eight, Nationals make two runs via Howie Kendrick and Dossier. That will be seven four. And the Nationals are getting close. But not enough. Because top nine, another home run by oh wait, yeah, another home run by future All Star player 
Anthony Rendon, 7-5, and the Nationals are down by two. So that would be 7-5, and then Soto flies out to the center, Howie grants out their short stop, short stop, and then the Sears walks. The game ends the, about 7-5, and the Nats lose. That will be a record of 31-36 in this part. That will be until June 11, where they had a record of 31-36, um, but they did improve that record, so we're good. And let's talk for a moment. First of all, Marshall won, won that game. Con Corbin lost, and that was a save by Colome from the White Sox. And now, let's talk. Let's take a moment to talk about Anthony Michael Rendon. This guy is an all-star player material. As small as three years old, he was hitting pine cones with a stick, much like. Javier Molina, when he was little, he always took a sandal, you know, one of these sandals in Spanish we say chancleta, and he was hitting paper balls with a sandal. I mean, you can spot talent like that, guys. Come on. And if, it, if, that, is, if that isn't enough, in high school, Anthony was hitting 570 with 8 honrones, 17 doubles, 56 runs battle in, 56 runs, 56 runs score, and 13 stolen bases. All that before reaching Major League. So, do you still need do you still need more numbers to vote for them done, or is that enough for you to just to give your vote to the future All Star player? Because over Rendon career in M. Major League Baseball, he has had an average of 280, 114 home runs, 463 RBIs, and in the last 13 games, he has had 110 at-bats, 25 runs, 34 hits, 6 home runs, 25 RBIs, and 20 given bases. So, go right now to Elmo... Um, Major League Baseball voting ballot and put your votes for our gratefully underrated third baseman Anthony Rendon because he really deserves a spot on the All-Star game so yeah guys just go there and vote for him please So, rent over, let's go to the next game, and Wednesday was a free day, so on the 13th of June, which was the debut game between the Diamondbacks and the National Series. That will be 13th of June, and it was a painful start for fans like me and the Washington Nationals, because on the top first, Jones runs out to third, out of first, and Peralta scores. 1-0 the, Diam the Diamondbacks and Escobar singles to the left and Marte scores. That will be 2-0 Diamondbacks. And then, top second, home run by Alex Davila gives the Diamondbacks on the league 3-0. And then on the top four, a home run by Jeddah Dyson with Ahmed on base and that will bring the four and fifth runs toward the Diamondbacks. That really is sad. You got two innings and they already have five runs so for me that is sad because it's painful to watch it's really it, it is really painful so the nationals go go down by four by five five oh but they are not hitless because Trey Turner he broke the no hitter on the bottom seven and as I always say if you see a don't if you see a no hitter don't come another I mean I am saying this because I don't care which team it is. A no hitter for a pitcher is a good um, it's a good thing. So even if I hate the team, even if I don't like the team, I'm sorry for using the word hate. If you say a no hitter, just don't comment on it. Don't say shit about it. Just let it slide. Then when the game ends, you can say, 
Oh, that was a no hitter. You can comment on it when the game ends. But if you are watching the game and you see it's a no hitter, don't say squat because karma is a bitch and it's going to take it away. So don't say anything. So if you say, I mean, no le sales el juego a nadie. That's, are we good with that? Don't throw salt on the game. We are good, right? So, back to the 14th of June. The second game of this series, it was Scherzer versus Ray. Top third, home run by Carson Curley, brings the first one to the, for the D-backs. And bottom third, double to the left field by Trey Turner, brings the first round to the, for the national via Michael Taylor. That will be one on one, and it's a tie. Suck fly by Robles brings the second one round via Scherzer, who did a wonderful job with a sack bunt when the pitcher threw to first base, he committed the error, and then Scherzer is on base. That's good. Soto singles to the left, Turner scores, and that will be 3-1 Nationals go on top. That was a productive inning, especially for Scherzer. He did a good job. Top fifth, a solo home run by Ahmed brings the second round for the Diamondbacks, and on the bottom six, Two solo home runs, one by your one and only all-star player, Anthony Michael Rendon, and the other by the upcoming hero, Howie Kendrick. That will be 5-2, the Nationals go on top further. Button 7, single to the left by Robles, brings the sit round via Michael Taylor, and a well-placed sack fly by your one and only all-star player, Anthony Rendon, that brings the seven. Yeah, the seventh round for the Nationals via Trey Turner. So, top eight, Escobar doubles to the right, get El Marte scores, but the Diamondbacks lose 7-3 against a good opening by Scherzer and one marvelous closing by Doolittle. 7-3, Nationals win, and the MVP of the game was the all-star player, Anthony Michael Rendon. June 15, 2019, third game of the series, Strasbourg versus Taylor Clark. Top first, Keter Marte and Adam Jones, both with home runs to the right and center field correspondingly. They bring the first and second round for the deep Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks, that sounds really bad. Diamondbacks, and then on the bottom first, a sack fly by Eaton brings, the, brings Turner home with a first run and then a back-to-back -back home runs of Soto and Matt Adams. Left center and right center, I mean, and right field correspondingly. That would be 3-2, the Nats go on top. So yeah, we were about to see a back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back again, but no, it didn't happen. Hopefully, we can see another one of those in the same year. Or am I asking for too much? Maybe I am, I am asking for too much. But that would be amazing, like, the only team to have three back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back -to -back home runs, and that would be the Nationals. And that would be, for me, that would be amazing. That would be great press coverage for them, but I am asking for too much, so I am not going to comment on it anymore. Again, going back to the game. Top second, Walker throws a home run. Kelly singles and Ahmed scores, that will be 4-3, and the D-backs are back on top. Top third, Ahmed doubles, Escobar scores, that will be 5-3 Diamondbacks. Top four, second home run in the game for the Dominican-born Ketel Marte, that will be 6-3, and the Diamonds are on top. The Diamondbacks. Bottom sit, I mean bottom fifth, Rendon singles to the left, Ethan, Trey, and Soto were out. That will be a one, two, three inning after a good single. That is really bad. If you see a guy single and then one, two, three, that is hurtful. That hurts. That burns. Me quema, me duele. Me lastima. So, top eight. 
honrando y que 